Hello everyone, I have made a world pre-generator which is designed mainly to be used during UHC. It pre-generates pre a world of 2000 by 2000 blocks and it, it pre-generates both the overworld and the nether. I'll show how it works. You need to create a new world. You uh, need to uh, name it or not. Um, then you need to make sure that allow cheats is on and create the world. Okay. Once the world is created, you just need to put yourself into game mode one and give yourself a command block. So game mode one and give yourself a a, a command block. There we go. Okay. Make sure you can see the sky. Um, then place the command block on you. Then paste in the huge command that I will link in the description of this video. And then make sure to power the command block once. Then you can unpower it in. You will see the command blocks start piling up. Um, yeah, so you, uh, I advise flying. So when the world is being pre-generated, you will not fall down. So it pre-generates by teleporting you, uh, teleporting you around, which uh, which generates the world. You can actually see it generate on you. And as you can see in chat, it was uh, the or original version was made by Lorgon. Um, his version only works in the overworld, though, and I really wanted it to work in the Nether. So I changed it a lot and now it also works in the nether. And the only downside is that once you get to the nether, it actually the the spawn chunks in the overworld they stop being loaded in 1.8. So what you need to do is you actually you need to log off or get out of the world and then uh, join the world which will load the spawn chunks again for a while. And if you do that twice, then everything should be uh, done. So once it's uh, once it's at that point where it stops in the nether, I will uh, continue recording. Okay, so now we are on top of the nether, and we stop teleporting. You can see that. Um, yeah, you can see it still see it in the chat. So you just need to quit this one and join it again. And now you just wait. So stopped once more, and I will get back whenever that happens. Okay, so we are way above the nether now. Uh, we stopped teleporting again. So what you need to do is once more uh, quit and join it again. And this time you actually don't need to wait that long because you can see the C count here is going from 1 to 5 and after that uh, the teleport X count will be in increased to 6 and that means actually that everything is rendered um, or generated and then what you need to do is just wait a, a couple more seconds and you will uh, get teleported to the in the nether and given instructions on what to do so let's just wait mm, 20, 30 seconds, I guess, until it, uh, until it finishes. Okay, so now you can see teleport Z count is set to 5. And right now, it, you can see teleport X count is set to 6. Then you have to wait once more. Okay, so now we'll put in spec into spectator mode. And here you can see we're actually... It's quite laggy. Okay, so now it's finished. Um, you can see it used to be a nether portal here, but that's removed. The only thing you can see is the four blocks in the in the ground. You've been given a paper which tells you it's all done. You just need to do slash clear and then slash kill to return to the overworld. So let's do that. Slash kill, slash clear, slash kill, and respawn. Okay, so now we're back in the overworld. Um, yeah, so in the overworld everything is cleared uh, too, so you can see nothing of what uh, what's left. Okay, thanks for watching.